the Mojave Air and Space Port IATA, MHV, ICAO, KMHV, also known as the Civilian Aerospace Test Center, is in Mojave, California, at an elevation of 2,801 feet 854 meters. It is the first facility to be licensed in the United States for horizontal launches of reusable spacecraft, being certified as a spaceport by the Federal Aviation Administration on June 17, 2004. The facility covers 2,998 acres 1,213 hectares and has three runways. History In 1935 Kern County opened the Mojave Airport 0.5 miles .80 kilometers east of Mojave, California to serve the gold and silver mining industry in the area. The airport had two dirt runways, one oiled, but no fueling or servicing facilities. In 1941 the Civil Aeronautics Board began improvements to the airport for national defense purposes that included two 4,500 by 150 feet 1,372 meters times 46 meters asphalt runways and a taxiway. Kern County agreed the airport could be taken over by the military in the event of war, after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, the United States Marine Corps took over the airport and expanded it into Marine Corps Auxiliary Air Station MCAAS, Mojave. The two runways were extended and a third one added. Barracks were constructed to house 2,734 male and 376 female military personnel. Civilian employment at the base would peak at 176. The Marines would eventually spend more than $7 million on the base, which totaled 2,312 acres 936 hectares. .Many of the Corps' World War II aces received their gunnery training at Mojave. During World War II, Mojave hosted 29 aircraft squadrons, four carrier aircraft service detachments, and three air warning squadrons. At its peak, the air station had 145 training and other aircraft. Mojave also had a 75 by 156 foot swimming pool that was used to train aviators in emergency water egress and for recreation. The Basie's 900-seat auditorium hosted several USO shows that featured Bob Hope, Francis Langford and Marilyn Maxwell. With the end of World War II, MCAAS was disestablished on February 7, 1946. A United States Navy air station was established the same day. The Navy used the airport for drone operations for less than a year, closing it on January 1, 1947. The base remained closed for four years until the outbreak of the Korean War. Mojave was reactivated as an auxiliary landing field to MCAS El Toro. In 1951 scenes from the movie The Las Vegas Story were filmed at the deserted airport. A helicopter chased a car around the base, at several points flying at speed through an open-ended hangar. The control tower shown on the RHS of this article was featured at the climax of the chase. On the 22nd of August 1951 the 11th Naval District announced the award to R. R. Hensler, of Sun Valley, of a $1,307,000 contract for the extension and strengthening of the runway at the Marine Corps Auxiliary Airfield. The airport was recommissioned as a MCAAS on December 31, 1953. Squadrons used Mojave for ordnance training when El Toro had bad weather. 
Marine Corps Reserve units were temporarily deployed to Mojave for two-week periods. MCAAS Mojave personnel peaked at 400 military and 200 civilians during this period. In 1961, after the Marine Corps transferred operations to MCAS El Centro, Kern County obtained title to the airport. In February 1972, the East Kern Airport District EKAD was formed to administer the airport. EKAD maintains the airport to this day. To a great extent EKAD was the brainchild of Kern County rancher and aviator Dan Sabovich, who heavily lobbied the state for the airport district's creation and ran EKAD until 2002. In 1974 to 79, Golden West Airlines scheduled De Havilland Canada DHC-6 Twin Otters direct to Los Angeles (LAX) on November 20, 2012. The EKAD Board of Directors voted to change the name of the district to the Mojave Air and Space Port. Officials said that the spaceport name is well known around the world, but EKAD is not. The change took effect on January 1, 2013. <laughs> Activities Besides being a general-use public airport, Mojave has three main areas of activity, flight testing, space industry development, and aircraft heavy maintenance and storage. <laughs> <laughs> Air racing The airport has a rich history in air racing. In 1970, a 1,000-mile 1, unlimited race was held—the first closed-course pylon race to include pit stops. The race was notable in that it featured a DC-7 that flew non-stop and finished sixth out of 20 aircraft. The race was won by Sherm Cooper in a highly modified Hawker Sea Fury which also flew non-stop. The following year the race was shortened to 1000 kilometers 620 miles and was again won by a Hawker Sea Fury this time flown by Frank Sanders from 1973 to 1979 air race management run by famed race pilots Clay Lacey and Lyle Shelton organized a series of Reno-style races at Mojave featuring Unlimiteds, T6A, Formula Ones, and biplanes. In 1973 and 74, the program also included jet races. Unlimited winners at Mojave included Lyle Shelton in 1973, Mac McLean in 1974 and 1976, Dr. Cliff Cummins in 1975, and Steve Hinton in 1978 and 79. The races at Mojave were hampered by constant winds, and extreme temperatures. In the 2000s, California HWY 58 was extended to bypass the town of Mojave, which cut directly across the race course—thus precluding any future racing events on the site. In 1983, Frank Taylor set the 15-kilometer mile closed course speed record at 517 miles per hour, 832 kilometers per hour at Mojave in the P51 Dago Red. Over the years, several notable teams have been based out of Mojave. Wasabi Air Racing is the only pylon racing team currently active at the airport. In 1990 Scaled Composites rolled out the Radical Pond Racer, built and tested on site. During the mid-90s, the Museum of Flying based its two racers Dago Red and Stiletto out of Mojave as well. 
And since the early 80s, the oft-talked about, but rarely seen wildfire a custom built unlimited based around a T6 airframe has slowly been developed in a Mojave hangar. Ralph Wise's many air racing projects including the Sport Class Legal GT400 and his V8 powered Unlimited, the GT500, both were designed and built at Mojave the GT500 spent its early life at Camarillo. The GT400 Quicksilver Ultralight program is also based out of Mojave Airport. Topic. Flight testing Flight testing activities have been centered at Mojave since the early 1970s, due to the lack of populated areas surrounding the airport. It is also favored for this purpose due to its proximity to Edwards Air Force Base, where the airspace is restricted from ground level to an unlimited height, and where there is a supersonic corridor. Mojave is also the home of the National Test Pilot School, Scaled Composites and Virgin Galactic, the spaceship company. Space industry development Beginning with the Rotary Rocket Program, Mojave became a focus for small companies seeking a place to develop space access technologies. Mojave Spaceport has been a test site for several teams in the Ansari X Prize, most notably the Scaled Composite SpaceshipOne, which conducted the first privately funded human sub-orbital flight on June 21, 2004. Other groups based at the Mojave Spaceport include XCOR Aerospace, Maston Space Systems, Virgin Galactic, the Spaceship Company, Stratolaunch Systems, and Firestar Technologies. Other companies at Mojave include Orbital Sciences Corporation, NASA and Interorbital Systems. The East Kern Airport District was given spaceport status by the Federal Aviation Administration for the Mojave Air and Spaceport through June 16, 2019. Topic Aircraft Heavy Maintenance, Storage and Event Center The Mojave Airport is also known as a storage location for commercial airliners, due to the vast area and dry desert conditions. Numerous Boeing, McDonnell Douglas, Lockheed, and Airbus jetliners including wide-body aircraft previously or currently owned by major domestic and international airlines are stored at Mojave. Some aircraft reach the end of their useful lifetime and are scrapped at the Mojave Aircraft Boneyard, while others are refurbished and returned to active service. The airport refurbished an old United States Marine Corps hangar from the World War II era into a modern event center. It was previously used for water survival training then transformed into the Stuart O. Witt Event Center with over 23,000 SF of multi-use space. First flights and significant events July 1, 1942 — Construction begins on Marine Corps Auxiliary Air Station at Mojave. July 31, 1944 — USMC capped. Edward Shaw, a decorated World War II ace, was killed while test flying an F 4U Corsair. February 7, 1946 MCAAS disestablished. December 31, 1953 MCAAS Mojave re established. May 21, 1975 First flight of the Rutan Very Easy June 30, 1978 — First flight of the Rutan Defiant 
June 12, 1979. First flight of the prototype of the Rutan Long EZ. April 3, 1980. First prototype Bombardier Challenger 600 crashed in the Mojave Desert, killing one of the pilots. Flight test program was operating from Mojave at the time. September 25, 1981 National Test Pilot School opens. August 23, 1983 First flight of the Boeing Skyfox. August 29, 1983 First flight of Beach Scaled Composites Model 115 Starship. January 7, 1986 Voyager Homecoming, after round the world record flight. July 12, 1988 First flight of the Scaled Composites Triumph. February 19, 1990 First flight of the Scaled Composites Ares. July 26, 1998 First flight of the Scaled Composites Proteus. March 1, 1999 Rollout of the rotary rocket Roten ATV. July 28, 1999 First flight of the Roten ATV. October 12, 1999 Third, final and longest flight of Roten ATV. October 8, 2000. First firing of an XCOR Aerospace LOX powered rocket engine. July 21, 2001. First flight of the XCOR EZ rocket, flown by Dick Rutan, single engine configuration. October 6, 2001. First flight of a twin-engine rocket plane, again the XCOREZ rocket. May 31, 2002. First flight of the Toyota TAA-1, built by Scaled Composites. July 24, 2002. First touch and go of a rocket-powered aircraft, the XCOREZ rocket world record. August 1, 2002 — First flight of Scaled Composites White Knight September 18, 2002 — First flight of world's largest jet engine, GE 9115B on GE's Boeing 747 testbed aircraft. May 20, 2003 — First captive flight, unmanned, of SpaceshipOne July 29, 2003 — First manned captive flight of SpaceshipOne August 7, 2003 — First free flight of SpaceshipOne December 17, 2003 — First powered flight of SpaceshipOne, on 100th anniversary of powered flight by the Wright brothers. March 5, 2004 — First flight of the Virgin Atlantic Global Flyer June 17, 2004 — Mojave designated a spaceport by the FAA. June 21, 2004 — SpaceshipOne Flight 15P, the first spaceflight of SpaceshipOne. September 29, 2004 — First Insari X Prize flight of SpaceshipOne. October 4, 2004 — X Prize winning flight of SpaceshipOne. June 21, 2005 — First captive flight of Boeing X-37 under Scaled Composites White Knight. December 3, 2005 — First departure of a rocket-powered aircraft on a point-to-point -point flight XCOREZ rocket, departed MHV for California City, flown by Dick Rutan. December 15, 2005 — First arrival of a rocket-powered aircraft on a flight originating at another airport XCOREZ rocket return flight from California City. Piloted by Rick Searfoss. April 7, 2006 
first free flight of Boeing X-37 takeoff from Mojave, landing at Edwards January 23, 2007 — first flight of the Lockheed Catbird July 26, 2007 — explosion with at least three fatalities at Scaled Composites facility January, 2008 — arrival of Gimli Glider for retirement December 21, 2008 — First flight of Scaled Composites White Knight 2 October 7, 2009 — Lunar Lander Challenge flight by Maston Space Systems win second place for Level 1 of the NASA competition October 30, 2009 — Lunar Lander Challenge Flight by Maston Space Systems wins first place for Level 2 of the NASA competition January 16, 2010 — AOPA President Craig Fuller came to speak at MHV. May 26, 2010 — Maston Space Systems completes the first ever flight of a vertical takeoff, vertical landing VTVL vehicle with successfully re-light the rocket engine. October 10, 2010 — First flight of Scaled Composites Spaceship 2 February 9, 2011 — First flight of Scaled Composites Firebird March 30, 2011 — First flight of Scaled Composites Bipod January 20, 2012 — Stratolaunch Systems breaks ground for production facility and hangar November 5, 2012 — First flight of Wasabi Air Racing Siren April 20, 2013 — Mojave Experimental Fly-In April 29, 2013 — First rocket-powered flight of Scaled Composites Spaceship 2 April 16-20, 2014 Mojave Experimental Fly-In and Week of Record Setting July 28, 2014 — MoAventure Team Flies Non-Stop to EAA AirVenture 2014 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin October 31, 2014 — The VSS Enterprise, a scaled composite Spaceship 2 class experimental test flight vehicle, crashes during a test flight, killing one of the pilots and injuring the other. December 13, 2018 – The VSS Unity, a Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 class vehicle, reaches suborbital spaceflight for the first time. Topic. Civilian Aerospace Test Center Test Programs Boeing X-37 Eclipse 500 – Crosswind Landing Data General Electric CF-34 General Electric GE-90 Lockheed Catbird – Post Modification and Systems Flight Test Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor – Crosswind Landing Data Lockheed Martin VH-71 Kestrel McDonnell Douglas MD-9030 Air Tractor 401 modified with an Orenda Aerospace OE-600 engine certification flight test program Rotary Rocket Scaled Composites White Knight and SpaceshipOne Sino Swearingen SJ-30-2 Envelope Expansion, Flutter, Stability and Control, Crosswind Takeoffs and Landings Virgin Atlantic Global Flyer Adaptive Compliant Wing developed by Flexus Inc. Flight tested on White Knight Topic. World Record Set FAI Class C-1, Unlimited Weight Group 1, Internal Combustion Engine 
speed over a straight 15 25 of a kilometer course, P-51 Mustang N-5410 V piloted by Frank Taylor, 832.12 km per hour, July 30, 1983. Group 3, Turbojet Speed over recognized course, Mojave to Gander, Newfoundland, Canadair Challenger CL601N601TG piloted by Aziz Ojjay, 816.48 km per hour July 24, 1984. Group 4, Rocket Engine Altitude gain, airplane launched from a carrier aircraft, 85,743 meters, spaceshipone piloted by Mike Melville, June 21, 2004. Distance, 16 km, XCOR S rocket piloted by Dick Rutan, December 3, 2005. FAI Class C-1A, landplanes, takeoff weight 300 to 500 kg Group 1, internal combustion engine Distance, Rutan Very Easy piloted by Frank Herzler, Mojave to Martinsburg, West Virginia, 3,563.02 km, July 15, 1984 Speed over 3 km course with restricted altitude, DR-90 Nemesis piloted by John Sharp, 466.83 km per hour, November 15, 1998 Aircraft now on display at the National Air and Space Museum Speed over straight 15 25 of a kilometer course, DR-90 Nemesis piloted by John Sharp, 454.77 km per hour, October 31, 1998. FAI Class C-1B, landplanes, takeoff weight 500 to 1,000 kg Group 1, internal combustion engine Distance over a closed course, Rutan Long EZN-79RA piloted by Dick Rutan, 7,725.3 km, December 15, 1979. Speed over a closed circuit of 2,000 km without payload. Rutan Catbird N187RA piloted by Dick Rutan, 401.46 km per hour, January 29, 1994. Speed over straight 3 km course, GP5 Sweet Dreams piloted by Lee Bahel, 377.6 m per hour, April 12, 2014. Speed over straight 15 25 of a kilometer course, GP5 Sweet Dreams piloted by Lee Bahel, 378.7 m per hour, April 12, 2014. Time to climb 3 km, GP5 Sweet Dreams piloted by Lee Bahel, 2 o'clock min, April 12, 2014. Group 4, Rocket Engine Distance, 16 km, XCOR S rocket piloted by Dick Rutan, December 3, 2005. FAI Class C 1C, landplanes, takeoff weight 1000 to 1750 kg. Group 1, internal combustion engine. Speed over a closed circuit of 2,000 km without payload. Rutan Catbird N187RA piloted by Mike Melville, 413.78 km per hour, March 2, 1994. Speed over a recognized course. Mooney 20 JN 201 KC piloted by Christopher Fries, 280.52 km per hour, May 19, 2009. Speed over a closed circuit of 1,000 km without payload. 
Landcare Legacy piloted by Mike Patey, 319 m per April 18, 2014. Speed over a closed circuit of 2,000 km without payload. Landcare Legacy piloted by Mike Patey, 319 m per hour, April 18, 2014. FAI Class C-1D, landplanes, takeoff weight 1750 to 3000 kg Group 1, internal combustion engine Distance over a closed course, Voyager N269VA, piloted by Dick Rutan and Gina Yeager, Vandenberg, California to Mojave, 18,658.16 km, July 15, 1986. Distance over a closed course, Rutan Catbird N187RA, piloted by Zach Reeder, 211 m per hour, April 18, 2014. Group 4, Rocket Engine Altitude Gain, airplane launched from a carrier aircraft, 85,743 meters, spaceship own piloted by Mike Melville, June 21, 2004. FAI Class C-1E, landplanes, takeoff weight 3,000 to 6,000 kg. Group 2, Turbojet Altitude, Scaled Composites Proteus N281PR, piloted by Mike Melville and Robert Waldmiller, 19,277 meters, October 25, 2000. Altitude in Horizontal Flight, Scaled Composites Proteus N281PR, piloted by Mike Melville and Robert Waldmiller, 19,015 meters, October 25, 2000. Altitude with 1,000 kg payload, Scaled Composites Proteus N281PR, piloted by Mike Melville and Robert Waldmiller, 17,067 m, October 27, 2000. Notable pilots, engineers and other people Brian Binney Fitzhugh L. Fulton Mike Melville, pilot of SpaceshipOne Bert Rutan, founder of Scaled Composites Dick Rutan, pilot of the first non-stop, unrefueled flight around the world with Gina Yeager in the Rutan Voyager Richard A. Searfoss Doug Shane Peter Siebold Jim Tyestuart O. Witt, former CEO of Mojave Air and Space Port and member of the National Space Council Users Advisory Group George T. Whitesides, CEO of Virgin Galactic Gina Yeager, pilot of the first non-stop, unrefueled flight around the world with Dick Rutan in the Rutan Voyager Topic accidents and incidents On February 4, 2009, Douglas DC-365, RN-834TP of the National Test Pilot School was substantially damaged in a takeoff accident. Both sets of undercarriage and the port engine were ripped off. The aircraft was on a local training flight. The accident was caused by an incorrectly set rudder trim. On October 31, 2014, the Spaceship 2 spacecraft VSS Enterprise broke up during a test flight after being dropped from the White Knight 2 VMS Eve carrier aircraft. Scaled Composites co pilot Michael Alsberry was killed. Scaled Composites pilot Peter Siebold parachuted to safety. Spaceship 2 was being developed by Scaled Composites for Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic Company. The accident occurred about 20 miles 32 kilometers north of the Mojave Air and Space Port, where the test flight originated. Topic. 
Topic. See also. List of airports in Kern County, California. Topic Notes. Topic External links Official Mojave Air and Space Port MHV website FAA Airport Master Record for MHV Form 5010 PDF FAA Airport Diagram PDF, Effective February 28, 2019 Encyclopedia Astronautica.com, Mojave Air and Space Port Entry Mojave Transportation Museum, Virtual Museum Website Yahoo Group Groups.com, Mojave Airport Group, with Discussions Index. Airliners.net, Mojave Airport Photos QNet.com, listing of aircraft wrecks in the Mojave area, including many from World War II YouTube.com, video on Mojave Air and Space Port MHV, Popular Mechanics 2009 cover story, Mojave Air and Space Port KMHV page at ClearanceWiki, Airport Notes for Instrument Rated Pilots. Resources for this airport FAA Airport Information for MHV AirNav Airport Information for KMHV ASN Accident History for MHV FlightAware Airport Information and Live Flight Tracker NOAA – NWS Latest Weather Observations SkyVector Aeronautical Chart – Terminal Procedures <laughs>